So this is a little video about no power in a van. How am I doing it? No power banks, no power. I'm gonna go to bed in a minute and I've got a bit of a cold annoying me. Maybe I can talk about having a cold in the van, which is something new I'm experiencing. So in my van, I've got this lantern, this lantern, and this bar light. They're all magnets. So at the moment, before I get insulation, they are working perfectly. So them two are powered by battery. So there's no power needed for that. You just buy a new battery to replace them. And this light, just dim that as well. And it's powered by USB. So I've got this lead that I can plug into USB charger to charge. So at work, I've got a multi adapter that takes normal plugs, it also takes USB adapters. So in the mornings, I go into work, not every day, but obviously down here, I've got my iPad. I'm watching the Jolly Boys outing. Only 14 horses. So I charge my iPad, I charge my phone, and I can charge this USB light, charge my computer throughout the day. And then in the evening, they're all full power, ready to go. And then that's all I'm using electrical wise at the moment. In the next few weeks, the plan is to get a power bank and solar into this build. But that's another step. I have torches, they're battery powered, and I've got a couple of USB torches. I can also charge my phone while I'm driving with a USB lead as well. So that's currently how I'm powering everything. It's batteries, USB, or at work using a power adapter. So again, you can get started with that power bank I have. So I'm currently doing it. Yes, I'm relying on works electricity to help me get started. If you've got that option, then take advantage of it, use it. Charge your phone. Oh, that's great. Yeah, charge your phones, charge what you need. Make sure it's done before the end of the shift. And you've got a full battery for the rest of the night. Then don't use your phone too much, so you leave a little bit because my phone at the moment is my alarm clock. But yeah, so yeah, the USB light and some battery powered lights, iPad, once it runs out of battery, take it back into work, charge it, same as the computer. That is it for now, but the power bank will be coming in the future. But if you do not have a power bank, don't worry, you still get in your van, you can charge up at work or somewhere, use the stuff in the van until it runs out, then recharge it. Just keep some spare batteries for your lights and you've got some lighting. And then in the future, get the big power bank station that you need, get a leisure battery if you want that, or get a little mini, the mini one I've got. A mini power bank somewhere um, which again I'll have a quick look I charge at work and um, I've not used it either yeah. you wouldn't believe how much you can fit in a little bag little tiny mini um, by anchor by anchor a little mini power bank. It charges my phone maybe one and a half times. I, I charge that up, leave it in my bag. So in the emergency, if I do need to charge my phone middle of the night, I can use that as well. Yeah. I was asked about power in the van. So that's why I've done this little video just to explain. Yep, no power yet. There will be power. But for now, I'm just using power at work. Um, batteries USB and that's it thanks for watching and we'll speak very soon take care